Hey everyone, so this is going to be an in-depth tutorial about layering. Now, layering is simply a technique that is designed to remove weight from the hair. And layering is becoming more and more common. I see that there's a lot of people who are more interested in layering the hair, they're more interested in understanding what it does. And a lot of you are realizing that your hair needs layers in order to actually have the right flow and the right haircut. Now, the only problem and the only challenge is finding the right professional who understands what layering is and how to do them the right way. So what I'm going to do today is give you a really good rundown and understanding of what layers are, the right types of layers, you know, how to understand or do them properly. And of course, if you're trying to do this yourself, I always say this, you know, it's taken me 30 something plus years to really understand and to have the experience of cutting hair. There's no way that you're going to be able to watch a haircut video like this, not even be a professional and expect to do haircuts like I do. All right. However, I do see a lot of you who leave comments saying I've been watching your haircut videos for years and literally I cut my wife's hair or you know, my, my husband cuts my hair and we watch your videos and he does a better job than the stylist. I mean, that's great. If you can get this and understand it, that's beautiful. So all I'm saying is best of luck, but you can really get a bad hack job when it comes to layering on your hair. Leave uh, some comments below. Have you ever had a bad layered haircut? Have you found the right person who layers your hair perfectly? Do you cut your hair yourself based off of my tutorials? Let's flood the comments, I'd love to know. All right, so first of all, the important thing to understand about layering is actually the hair itself and how it grows from the head. So a lot of people think that the hair grows straight up this way in the front. And in reality, let's turn this mannequin head here a bit. In reality, the hair the hair actually, my God, I can't even handle this mannequin. <laughs> the hair actually does not grow straight up. Okay, the hair, because as you can see, when I pull it up, it creates a rounded type of bevel right here, which means that something is not right. In reality, the hair, let's shift this around, grows straight out from the head. And if I were to turn this mannequin head like this, the hair actually grows out this way. So if I were to pull this straight out, this is straight out from the head like that. Not this, this. So what this means is that when you're trying to create a layered shape and something just doesn't seem right and very unbalanced and you were to go to pull this straight up, and everything looks good like this, okay. But then when you pull the hair out this way, the way it grows, and you see that there's a lot of hair up here, well, guess what? Now I'm gonna cut that because the hair is now growing out from the head and I'm pulling it out instead of just straight up, all right? And there's a big difference. So when you're creating your layered shape and you're working your way throughout the top of the head, Okay, what you need to understand is that as you follow the pattern of the haircut, always, 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 always make sure that you are cutting it in the direction and the way the hair grows out from the scalp. Not everything is straight up. Instead, this may be the right way to cut. As you can see, it's more balanced this way. And this, what does this do? Okay. What this does is it actually allows the hair, as you can see, to flow properly. And let's take this one section right here as an example. So by pulling the hair straight up, you can see that now when I'm going to brush the hair backwards and, and I'm going to brush it the right way, it's going to fall and lay properly, okay? It's gonna fall and lay properly because of the way you created the shape, all right? Because of how you balanced it 
And now it's going to be much more cooperative as opposed to if it's not cut the, the right way, it's not going to lay properly. And that's where a lot of people, you know, they come home and they leave, you know, me comments or they, oh, it's just not laying properly. I don't know what's going on. It's because the person cutting her hair does not realize that hair does not grow straight up. It grows out. And go close to the mirror and look and pull your hair out and you can see. You can say, oh my gosh, he's right. It's not growing straight up this way. It's growing out. All right, that's the first thing you need to understand. Next thing is how short do you want your layers to be on your head? You don't mind, do you? Okay, good. So depending on the type of style you want, obviously if you want more of a feathered type of, you know, retro or 80s type of look, then the layers have to be a bit shorter on top. If you want a longer layered haircut, then obviously the layers have to be a bit longer. So it really depends on you. The one thing you have to keep into consideration with all of this is that the hair needs to be balanced, okay? The haircut itself, the layers need to be balanced and blended. If you have everything blended into one shape, you're going to be okay. If you have everything balanced in one shape, you're going to be okay. And how do we go about doing that? Well, let's take a section of hair, for example, right here. Let's take a section of hair right here in the very, very top of the head, right? The top center of the head. I'm going to take a nice horizontal sliver and section right here. And let's, let's get this section right here, right here on the top of the head, like so. Now, as you can see, this piece, this piece of hair right here, everything has to be fully balanced. I'm going to demonstrate what that means right now. So let's back up a little bit. There we go. Now let's pull this straight. Now this is where the hair grows straight up most of the time. So here we go. We're going to go straight up from the head and I'm going to cut this straight across. So I've got a perfectly even balanced section right here. Next, let's split this in half because this is the left side of the head. This is the right side of the head. Now, Let's all go all the way down. And now let's work on the corner. Now the corner of the head is where the head rounds. So we've got the top and the corners and then the sides. So the corners, once again, it's growing out from the head like this. So there's the guide, which is the part of the last section I previously cut. So we went straight up or out, straight out, and now we're going to go all the way to the bottom section, which is the actual sides. I'm going to pull this out like so. And now what I'm doing is I'm combing straight out from the head and that's where the hair grows. So there it is right there. We're going to extend this all the way out and we're cutting straight up like that. <clears throat> now, why is this important? Well, because all of this weight, right here and i like to go back in just to double check all of this weight as you can see is creating and the way i'm cutting is a very balanced shape here we go right back to the top there's the piece from the guide we, we have to cut so we have now created a perfectly rounded symmetrical layered shape and that's really 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 important all right now i'm going to do the other side and all i'm doing is i'm just rotating so you can, you can literally stand in the same spot and cut hair the same exact way, all right? So now let's comb all this down like so. And we're going to comb this straight up this way to get the knots out because we're dealing with the top of the head. The top of the head is where everything grows straight up or out from the head. Okay, there's our section right there. Now let's hold on to this piece. I like to hold on to it. And we are going to comb out from the way the hair grows. Okay, you can see it's com we're combing outwards. Not down, not over directing, but out from the head. Straight out, not up, but out. All right, there we go. Got that piece. Let's hold on for dear life. Now we're going to work our way down into the actual sides of the head. And we're going to comb the hair to get all the knots out. And we're, what we're going to do is make sure we have a nice clean section. 
we're going to extend this all the way out and we're going to cut. So what I like to do is actually do this in reverse too, is just go back up to double check. And this is the most important part. It's just going in to the haircut and checking. That's it. So we've created basically a rounded, I, I call it a balanced shape, okay? A perfectly balanced shape. And that's what you need to do on the entire head with all of your layers. Now, how do we do that into the back? How do we, this, this is where again, it gets very, very complicated. That's why going to a professional really helps. But if you go home and you see that a bunch of this hair is just very uneven, it's very unbalanced, all you need to do is go up, out, 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 up, out. So you're basically just following a pattern like this, which is how the hair grows, okay? Best way now to actually blend this all in and to balance this all out is by doing this. And this is something that I, you can do this yourself at home. It's just a little challenging, but we're gonna go right down the middle and I'm going to start by doing this. So let's comb this straight out from the head, which again is this way, right? I know it's like down, but that's the way the hair grows. And then we are going to follow the pattern right here, slightly shorter to longer, okay? Slightly shorter to longer. And now what's happening is as we get to the very, 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 very top, it's where it's gonna be straight up from the head. And then as we get towards the back, this is how we can maintain and keep that angle of going shorter to longer, okay? There's the hair going into the back now. And then now it once again follows the head shape. So layering is really all about following the head shape. If you go home after a haircut, doesn't matter how short, long your hair is, especially if you're trying to, you know, you're a guy or, you know, you're trying to wear your hair a little bit longer on top. You want a slick back look, something's not right. You know, you can just hold the hair straight out from the head this way. Okay. Just hold it straight out like this and then extend it and look and see what's going on. If you have pieces that are very unbalanced or uneven, AKA uneven Steven, we got to introduce even Steven to this haircut. All right. So how do you do that? Well, by just following the lines, following the pattern, okay? And a lot of it is, you know, this is why when I was really cutting hair and seeing clients, you know, I'd be charging uh, big money for my haircuts because I would spend so much time just going back in and perfecting the haircut and I would just double check, triple check, cross check, Everything was checking, checking, checking. And my haircuts would last months and months, okay? Because of the way I cut it. So I would cut hair to actually grow out to have a nice shape, uh, especially with my women's haircuts. So that's something that you really, really, really have to understand. So how do, you know, once again, how do you get, you know, how to fix bad layers or how to, you know, layer hair the right way? It all comes down to understanding how the hair grows out from the head, all our hair grows out, and then seeing and following the natural pattern. Once you can follow the natural pattern, then you're gonna have better results. And again, if you wanna just check your, your haircut at home, check your layers, yes, you can just hold it straight up like this and check to see if it's balanced or not. Now, if you hold this straight up in the, in the air <clears throat> and you see one piece that's like a lot longer, this is a lot shorter, and you cut this one piece. The problem is, is that you will have to basically take on the entire haircut because that one little piece, you know, may be shorter for a reason or something may have happened. So keep in mind, in order to balance the whole haircut out, guess what? You are gonna now have to cut everything to that shorter piece to make it all even. If you don't, then you're gonna be in trouble and you're gonna cut your hair and you're gonna be left with a bunch of you know, even a bigger crime scene than what already is there. So you have to make sure that you really understand when you take this on, it's a, it's a really big undertaking. The key, takeaway, balance. It's all balanced straight out.
from the head, the way the hair grows, okay? Well, let me know in the comments below if this really helped you understand layers a bit more. Let me know if you, you know, go try this in the bathroom, in the mirror, and pull up and just check for the balance. And if you hold your hair and you can go like this and everything is even Steven, then, you know, you're good to go. I do sell these hair cutting combs on my website, shop.theslonga.com. I sell my own scissors at shop.theslonga.com. I have, uh, you know, I have a whole variety of tools, blow dryers. Just make sure you use code YouTube20. That's YouTube20 at shop.theslonga.com. It's an exclusive code here on YouTube. And, and lastly, you can actually take your hands like this and pull the hair. Pull the hair upwards, and if everything is dropping and pulling up at the same time, then we're even Steven. If you go like this, and then one hair comes out, and then everything's keep, then it's like really, really uneven, it's time that you, you know, call the manager over there and, and, and complain and say you want your haircut fixed. But let's flood the comments. I love to hear your feedback. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.